Europe's Rosetta space mission, which aims to land on a comet later this year, has identified what it thinks is the safest place to touch down. The ice mountain, known rather catchingly as 67P, is highly irregular in shape with deep depressions and towering cliffs. Scientists say they found a relatively smooth region, but are under no illusions how difficult this task will be. Our science correspondent Palab Ghosh has the details. Oddly shaped, cratered and craggy, the comet that the Rosetta spacecraft will land a probe on in just a few weeks' time. But these latest close-up pictures show that its surface has jagged cliffs and rather than having a flat surface on which to land, there are steep slopes and many areas are strewn with hazardous boulders. They look like small grains of rice, but they're the size of houses. The Rosetta team has announced that the probe will land on the area marked J. It's relatively flat and fairly free of boulders but uh, still just, uh, precarious. And you see there is flat areas, but there is also rough terrain. There is some cliffs, there is some boulders, and at the end, J turned out to be uh, the best one, but even here, as you see, uh, the risk is high. Even if the lander, called Philae, does set down safely, there's little gravity on the comet. So what's to stop it from flying off? On board is a harpoon, like this one. The idea is that once Philae lands on the surface, it'll fire it into the surface and latch on to the comet. Powerful though the harpoon is, it might bounce off if the surface is too hard or not be able to get a grip at all if it's too soft. This comet is a small body, it's got hardly any gravitational attraction. We've only just seen up close for the last two weeks images of where we're going to land and have to, had to make all the calculations so quickly. So this is absolutely the most difficult thing that space scientists have ever tried to do. This is the latest photograph taken by Rosetta, its solar wing glistening in the sunlight and the comet at the top getting ever closer. Palab Ghosh, BBC News. Prince Harry 